guys, Peterson's annual sale is going on, so I spent some of my wife's money on a, a GSP Eagle's Nest, which is the government steel version of this model. They call it the Eagle's Nest, and it grabbed my eye for a couple of reasons. One, it said padded case, which is kind of neat because padded case, that means it's not going to, and nothing's going to poke through and stick you in the butt, which in my eyes is a big plus. The other thing about it is it had some, uh, some of their newer picks, so I thought I'd take a look at that, and we've got some new tension wrenches as well. So let's take a look at them one at a time. You, you get anything black candled is a 24 thousandths. I just got through Mike and these, so this is a standard hook, 24 thousandths. Let me put this down just a bit. We have one of my favorite picks, the Gem. Again, 24 thousandths. Everything in here is 24 thousandths except one pick, which I'm going to save for last. We have two rakes. We have on the top there a W rake. So if you like kinetic attacks for zip and open locks, that's a tool to use. And then if you just like raking things gently, we have an S rake or snake rake. All 24 thousandths. We have two of the newer picks. Kind of did grab my eye. We have a Bogota clone 24 thousandths on the bottom. So if you're rough on your locks or you get wide open keyways, uh, I use this one a lot. If you have a paracentric keyway, this is one of the newer ones. You notice a purple handle, and I mic this at 18 thousandths. So very flexible. Uh, it's one of the very few thin Bogotas on the market. So if I'm trying to get into paracentric keyways and I want to use a rake, this really is just about all, my only choice, unless I use one of my handmade custom picks. I'd rather risk something commercial, that way if it breaks, I can buy another one. If you uh, like to use different tension wrenches, you get a pretty wide variety here. You get uh, six, these are all straight, so you get six short ones, six long ones. And then, of course, if you look here, there are different thicknesses. And on the top, they are also different widths. So, thin, medium, and thick. Any keyway you can imagine, I guess you can get one of those in it. And then we got something new. These are the new, uh, newly designed pry bars. Now, when I say newly designed, if you take a close look here, you notice on, the, on these they have a little notch or a stop. So you can't put that too far uh, into the keyway, into the upper part. And that little stop prevents you from grabbing that first pin and uh, locking it down with your pry bar. So really innovative, kind of a neat idea. If you look, if I can get the camera to cooperate and my fingers, you get both thicknesses, the one on the right, or actually on the top there, 50,000, so that's the traditional pry bar standard. And then the bottom one, I mic'd it at 38,000, so that is the pry bar light. So top of the keyway or bottom of the keyway with these newly designed uh, tension wrenches. That's all the good stuff. Uh, some of the stuff that does need work. Let me grab. Let me grab a pick to compare. This is the brand new pick. Now it's going to need a little work. They're not. Uh, they're not perfect. You got some sharp edges there. You can see the marks from when they etched this pick out. And then I'm going to put my everyday pick that I've worked on a little bit. What you really want to do is spend a few minutes with some sandpaper, round off those sharp edges, and maybe polish it a little bit. And what you'll find is that it works much, much smoother in the keyway when you don't have that, that rough texture on the top and bottom and when you don't have those sharp edges. It'll really slide in there much easier. But, you know, this is a small thing. No manufacturer can afford to do that fine finishing, so I always plan on doing that myself. So for all these picks, you're only going to spend about 15 minutes. Really not a big investment in time, and that's all it takes. And then you have a great everyday carry kit. So... Anyway, fellas, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.